All right, so this is Asus VivoBook Flip 40. This one comes with Intel Celeron processor and four gig only built-in RAM that you can't change anything. And recently this one automatically upgraded to Windows 11, which caused the problem. So it went down very slow and very difficult to work. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you if you would like to reinstall Windows, how you're gonna do that in this machine. First of all, the limitation that it has, this machine doesn't have any USB port. So this sort of Windows uh, installer US USB stick couldn't work here. So you need a converter, uh, USB to Type-C, which I already got it. And also you need to have UEFI Windows 10 thumb drive. That's the first thing. So connect in here and also make sure while you do this, you connect the charger, which is right there. So I'm going to connect into Type-C port like this I'm gonna switch this off once it completely shut down we need to press the power button which is on that side that side press the power button keep pressing F2 yeah once we keep pressing F2 after a couple of attempts it came like that so the battery level is quite good so we can carry on and now here is the BIOS screen that you can see. I believe there are two ways to check the BIOS, two different illustrations. One of them called EZ mode. If you press F7, it's going to take you to advanced mode, which is that one. Okay, so in here we can change. So if you see anything like this, make sure you go back to advanced mode by pressing F7. And if you already know that your boot type in UEFI then you can just change the boot priority option but let's stick to the plan press F7 now from here we need to go to advanced option which is that one and we can see USB configuration which is that one okay it's enable that's fine go back it's very slow so you can do yes C button to go back and now we're gonna go back to hmm, security from security we need to go back to secure boot that you can see and make sure the secure boot control is enabled press esc again or you can jump into boot option okay so these are the couple of settings that we need to do that's the only two options so the op boot option one the current boot manager and second one is my usb stick that you can see that's the one okay now we're gonna change the plan we're gonna put boot option two in one and one in two how are you gonna do that this is even more simple so press F7 again we can press this one like this before you save it we're gonna press F7 and can you see on the right hand side there is the boot manager and that one this is my USB so if I drag like this let me show you Okay. as you can see this is the trackpad if I click and go like that we can change so now boot priority option allows my USB as a fast boot priority option we can save everything by pressing F10 which is that one and hit enter so it's gonna load from the USB now All right, so here is the thing. It's pretty simple. We can hit next, install. It's gonna take a little bit of time, which is okay. Accept the terms and condition. Hit next, advanced option. So now we're going to delete all the partition that we can see but remember before we delete make sure if you do have any backup or anything I mean any data back it up that's the first thing all right and we're going to delete all of them one by one because there are many partitions we're going to keep only one as you can see now we're going to hit next button once we click on next 
the installer would install Windows in there, copy all the necessary files and folders to the directory. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes from here, depend on how fast your USB and the system, I mean the hardware. So let's see at the end if that is successful or not. So finally it has done and you don't have to change the boot option manually because when Windows get installed if you just disconnect your USB then the BIOS system will take this Windows Manager as a first boot so you don't need to worry about it. Thank you so much for watching I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.